E3 predictions. I should really start asking this when we have guests on here. Uh, just ask them what, what they think. Okay, so, uh, OJ, what do you, what do you think it, Nintendo is going to bring to the table at E3 in terms of games? I think I think Virtual Console and, at this point, the online service, I, I feel like is a lock. But what do you think about games? Um, yeah, I would think we're going to see what Retro Studios, just to, let's not talk about the obvious things like Super Mario Odyssey, right, and all the stuff that they've already announced, you know. Sure. So just talk about the new stuff. Um, I think we're going to see what Retro Studios has been working on because they're working on a Nintendo Switch game, so we'll see what that is. And I also think we're going to see what Next Level Games is working on. Maybe we get a Luigi's Mansion. That's what I'm thinking oh, will happen. Luigi's so, cool. yeah, Metroid and Luigi's Mansion will probably be the two games that I'm thinking is going to happen at this year's E3 for Nintendo. Metroid Prime? Um, a Metroid game, maybe not Prime, but just oh, I want Prime. Metroid, some type of Metroid game. Maybe they go make, maybe they go do something really different. Maybe not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say Metroid Other M. But don't don't get triggered by it. people always get triggered if you mention Metroid Other M. So I'm just gonna say maybe they do something trying to like, innovate, not like Metroid Other M, but something that's a little bit different in the Metroid franchise. Maybe they do that. Or maybe it's a standard Prime game. I'm just thinking there's going to be some type of Metroid game, but I think it's really going to try to stay true to the original Metroid route. So I think they're really going to try to do something like that with the game. Sure. I, I mean, I'd be okay with that. I just I liked Prime a lot. I was a big Prime fan. So. Well, I mean, even like with the original Metroid, as far as just like the style of the game, and even in the Prime like format, right? You can kind of kind of mix them together. Yeah. yeah kind of mix, mix it together. Maybe you even have 2D parts. Maybe there's even some things you do like that. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And a Luigi's Mansion, I think, would probably be coming as well. And third, some third-party games too. Some third-party ports we probably sure. I mean, who 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 saw Payday Two coming? So nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an awesome is... game. If nobody in the chat has played that, if you have it on, if you if you get on Steam, go play it. It's a fun game. Anyway, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Philip, what do you what do you think is going to be at E three, man? Um, I still I still think Metroid is coming. Um, mm-hmm. I know that I talked about that on the last podcast, but um, I still think that's definitely a possibility. Uh, now that I see other people are also talking about it as well. But I'd love to see it in sort of like a totally new way, in a way that we haven't really seen it. Um, maybe something along the lines of like how Tomb Raider was rebooted and we have like a third person, or I mean, you know, it's always looked that way, but I'd like to see it in the vein of Tomb Raider sort of. Mm-hmm. Third person, like it, lots of exploration, open world, being able to go from planet to planet, stuff like that. Um, Experience points too, like when you like, kill certain oh. enemies you get the experience to upgrade your weapons and stuff like that i think every game should have experience points <laughs> I, I, I like this guy i like this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that of course that would be amazing um but uh yeah and then also like you know virtual console like that's mm-hmm. obviously like a huge thing um other than that you know it's really hard to tell it would be really cool to hear about a new smash or not a new smash but at least like maybe you know them bringing mm-hmm. a smash from the oh, wii sure. u yeah. So that would be a lot of fun. Um, I definitely think that they're going to maximize on multiplayer games, online games. So we're going to see something along those lines. But yeah, sure. Metroid yeah. and Virtual Console are my two big ones. What do you, uh, what do you think about E3, Evan? Uh, I mean, I think we already talked about this a little bit the last time, but in thinking about it, if it is going to be heavily based on multiplayer and they do aim for a Metroid, we might be seeing a little bit of the aspects of a Metroid with multiplayer functionality in it sure. somehow. Yeah. I mean, they, they did that with like Metroid Prime Two. I remember that, if I'm thinking right, where you, it was like hunters. a first-person shooter and hunters, yeah. Yep. So, and hunters. But if you think about it, usually what Nintendo does in a cycle is if they start putting out a bunch of games that we're all familiar with, they try to hit us with a title that we haven't seen in a while, like when they brought back Luigi's Mansion, mm-hmm. uh, when they brought back Pikmin and stuff like that. So maybe we'll see something along that line instead. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't know if it'll be highlighted. And like classic Nintendo fashion, it might be highlighted as like a big thing. I mean, Nintendo tries to be different, so yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. they really they, they come to the table with at least something that's unexpected most times. So, so like like a Star Tropic, something like that, like something that I've completely yeah, like and, it. but done but done for modern times or mm-hmm. upgraded heavily to be mm-hmm. like almost not even the game it was, even though it'll mm-hmm. still have aspects of it, and it might be truly interesting, especially with the Switch being what it is, a touch screen, basically more interactive than normal tablet, what could that bring to an older title that we haven't seen in forever? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that the crazy stuff since nobody else did. I I would like to see Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um or really you can give me Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy VII remake. I don't think it'll be remake though because I think that is a Sony exclusive, at least a timed exclusive for a little while. But 
I the more I think about Kingdom Hearts on the Switch, the more I think it makes sense, and the more I think they can do it if the licensing is there. But it's going to come down to if Nintendo can strike a deal with Square, who who seems a little more interested in working with Nintendo recently, probably because of the success of the Switch. Um, but I would like to see that. And if I had to really reach into a bag and and pick a game, I would like to see a new Golden Sun, if possible. I, I've been saying that for quite some time, and people just told me to shut up because I, <laughs> I kept on saying it, so I stopped. But yeah, I would like to see a Golden but, but Sun. But realistically, too. <laughs> Nintendo Nintendo should look at this E3 as, hey, let's go make an impact because you know Microsoft showing up with their game console and not much else. They don't have a lot of floor space. You know Sony is going to bring it to E3. Obviously, we we all know that they do it most E3s. This is a chance for Nintendo to really walk out on stage, you know, point to the screen, Kingdom Hearts plays, boom, Kingdom Hearts is there. Oh, look, here's Pokemon, here's Smash Bros, here's Metroid, here's Donkey Kong. And all of a sudden, these games are piling up, and even if half of them come out, you know, this year, that's a big win with Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade and Shimigami, you know, sitting there waiting for them on the other side. Mm -hmm. I, I agree, yeah. I would, I would like them to come out, especially if there was a new Smash, because... um. I don't think I've told you guys, but I mean, I'm a competitive player here in here in my um, my region. Um, oh, cool. um, yeah, I'm gonna start playing more um, in tournaments and everything. And I I also I practice Smash daily um, at this point. Um, so I also play that too, but I almost don't talk about it because it's just like yeah, it's my daily Smash practice. But um, but yeah, if, if they were able to actually put out a new Smash Brothers game, I think that would be really good because a lot of the competitive Smash Bros players really want that. They're all they all have switches and they're like they'll play and stream switches as far as like the top players. Mm -hmm. um, but and they're just like waiting for like that Smash game, and they're waiting for the tournament scene because having a a, a switch for Smash Brothers and taking that to a tournament is a much easier setup than bringing your Wii U, bringing your Wii U gamepad, you know, and all that, where you can just bring your Switch and your dark bam, it's right there, plug it in and play. I mean, and even if they did like the virtual console with the GameCube Melee, if it's exactly like it is, mm -hmm. you can have basically Smash Four tournaments and Melee tournaments right there with that one system. That right. that would be a big help. I mean, I have to give it to Nintendo. They do seem interested in the competitive scene heavily with the Switch. I mean, we saw the trailer of them with Splatoon 2. You know, the, the guys all kind of in a circle, all kind of mapping out their plans and everything. So they at least get the idea of esports and competitive play. And Smash Bros. on the Switch makes a lot of sense for that. Just traveling to conventions with your Switch is basically your system. Yeah, so. I, yeah I would want them to do both. Like, if there's a GameCube virtual console... Um, and if there's, uh, um, you know, and if there's Smash 4, because one of the big reasons, I wouldn't say like the main reason, obviously, but like Smash Brothers on the GameCube and on mm -hmm. the uh, Smash Brothers Melee. And one of the big reasons why that I think that system did well is because all the, the Melee people, they had to buy a Wii in order to set it up. Like if you watch any of the tournaments, they're all playing on Wiis, all the Melee crew. They're, okay. not using game, they're not using GameCubes. They all bought Wiis to play this one game in their <laughs> tournaments because it's much easier to set up a Wii for mm -hmm. tournament play. That it is to set up a GameCube. Yeah, it was much easier for them, so um, they could just do that. And most of the time, like when there was brawl tournaments too, they would just have it right there. You, everyone just just brought, you just brought a Wii, and that was it. So if they could do the same thing with the Switch, I think that would also be a big help because sure. I still haven't seen some of the GameCube uh, top GameCube players really talk about Switch enough, you know. So yeah, I just I have to give it to Nintendo. They're in a good position, and it really comes down to what they can do at E3 to really to really set it off and then make a run at that that holiday season because it's I mean all the I mean it's there right I mean everything to basically win this year is right in front of them if they, if they can make it happen.